Like a nice academy. Oh, you could jump over that. They'll be lazy. Pretty bird. Please stop screaming. So where do the birds go? Is she about to taco me out? We should hurry, Santa. Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. But but before you go, I have to ask you something. I I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling, almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down there. But I have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world there, far more vast than Skyloft. Thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it. And our loft wings will fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagine that the wild things that might be waiting below someday. I want to see it for myself. <laughs> oh, sorry, Senek. We don't have the time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. <laughs> Let's go. Uh... Pretty bird! Pretty bird! Senek, let's run your bird through the basics just to make sure he's not hurt. You can fly your bird in any directions, but it's headed upward, it'll slowly lose speed. What? We want your bird to speed up, direct your. Wait, what? If you want to speed up, direct your bird to upward to gain altitude, then drop into a fast dive. What? So again, get some altitude and dive to speed it up. Those are the basics of getting your bird to top speed. It's like this. So how's the handling? You think he's flying right? Sure. <laughs> your loftling is really amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. Oh, great. No. Well, well, if it isn't Sanic. Word around the plaza is you found your dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the preherence warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and then they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment. <laughs> You're almost a man. Yet yeah, you still uh, can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to do what you have for lunch on your own, huh? No, oh, and don't think we, we haven't noticed the smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best of friends. We go every open. Oh, and you think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Chris has been going on forever about how he's going to be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour and a ruffle about her. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fancy you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at the ceremony today, and I'm going to be the one to claim the sailcloth. When I heard that she made it herself, man, no way was I going to let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth. Zelda's sailcloth will be all in mine. Duh. <laughs> oh, the man I thought, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I went to Big Race, then Zelda and I finished the ceremony <laughs> together on the statue, just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Groose. Psst, Groose. Behind you. Right behind you. What is it? Wow. 
Why is that dude doing that? Please don't. It's disturbing me. What? Can't you see? Can't you to see I'm in the middle of? Oh no, the music stopped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Care to explain what you meant by our special moment alone? <laughs> w is. Uh, nothing big, really, just, uh, cynic, uh, yeah, I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was that he found his red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, Zelda, look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Don't let those fools get you down, cynic. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I don't know about you. I don't know. You've got those guys beat, and I deep down think you too. Who do you? Us alone? I don't know. Uh, don't be nervous. You can do this. Uh, I wish it was me! Uh, wait, what the? Are they like pooping out smoke? The? How are they? How? I mean, I get they're trying to be like the Air Force jets, but like. That doesn't look healthy. They're pooping out blood. Is that a golden oh, laughing? Hey. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. As we gain the word, we have to proceed without standing. But luckily, that is no longer a concern. What's this dude? I'm glad you could all make it before we start. I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I'll have attached a small statue to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, dash from the starting lane and... Dive off the edge. Once you are in the air, mount your loft wing. Alright, whoever claims the bird. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statue will be a serious champion. Uh, nope. Let's go. Mm. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but today is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's man shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has created, crafted the gift herself. And as you uh, all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... <laughs> the lovely Zelda! <laughs> Let's see, you're finest flying out there. Show me how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see some good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other rides will answer to me. Cool. That goes for double for you, Groose. Hey. All right, gentlemen, line up at my command. Uh, the competition will begin. Hey. Go. Okay. Oh, are we going this way? Hey, Cynic! Where do you think you're going? This is a competition. Dive with the platform. Oh, should I get a head start, actually? See, I'm higher up, which means I'll have a higher chance of getting it. I, uh, no, no more. Can I intersect? Yeah. Yes! I did it! I did it! I don't even know how. Hey! Don't you know this is my day to get out of glory? <laughs> Zoinkity! <laughs> yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with egg on your face. Are these birds just allowing you to... Um, I don't think that's allowed. Dang it. And down. Spam me. No. Oh, wait, I can't spam A because it makes you go up. Yes! <laughs> Hooray! You got the bird statuette. It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. The Abyss. Sanic! Erm, um, I don't think you're part of the competition. Is that Riz? Don't worry, I'm a fine. <laughs> Great flying, Sanic. Congratulations. Now we better get uh, on with the ceremony. Sanic, hand me that bird statuette you grabbed at the race. I must offer it to the goddess. 
the heck is she gonna do with it? Why is there a hole there just for the bird? Did, was this a planned thing or something? What the... Play music? Our first age. Great goddess, guiding light and your protector of our people, grant us your blessings and mercy, and I acted your steed during the ceremony. Blessing from the goddess Drift Town for the heavis aloft sail, which I now pass on to you. You got the sailcloth! You can now jump from any height without fear of painful landing. I thought I could already do that. It smells nice, too. Okay, that's just creepy. Senek, quit goofing. This must be a sacred ritual. Remember, <laughs> it must be weird to give someone something and to go. Hooray! You know, they say that the goddess gave this sailcloth to a chosen hero a long time ago. Of course, you're the one holding. Isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish this sailcloth in time to give it to you, today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Senek. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? No, we really should finish up this ritual. You. You do know what happens after in the right. Uh-oh. Am I gonna have to censor this? And what just are you thinking? Don't be silly. This is your big moment, Sanic. Okay. You have to jump off the statue! Look down! See that big round design on the courtyard below? Finish the ceremony. You need to drop down right into the center of it. Okay. Leap off the edge right here before you hit the ground. Press ZR to open your sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fierce, you'd wait until the last second to use your sailcloth. So ready to jump? Just like I did in Tears of the King. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to jump. Not fall. Wait. Oh shoot. X is not it. Oh. oh boy, I see you messed up your landing. Uh, remember, once you. Okay. Okay, I didn't think tilting would do anything. <sighs> Why didn't you jump? That was perfect. You're amazing, Sanic. There's something I've been meaning to tell to you about. <laughs> what is that? Oh, I think that's a tornado. <laughs> What's going on? This is HD. They don't look HD. Look like 3DS quality. <laughs> ah, Sanic! No, not another result of falling into a hole. I'm waiting for you. Oh my. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Sanic. Come on, Senek, don't ruin this now. <laughs> uh, 
that scream was so loud it went into the red on my OBS. And I can't barely get into the red unless I go awake. What's up? When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Unfortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. Zelda's gonna be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Ghost in the hallway. How do you pull your sword out again? I can't. Okay. Get over here. Dang, dang. Kitty cat. Oh, that is not a key. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Chasing after of a sword. Uh, um, where that? Where did the? Where did the stone go? Oh, so this is Fee. The thing that goes. The one chosen by my creator. I've been waiting for you to- You will play a role in Great Destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the Great Destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Sanic. You must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainly surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Excuse me, what did you just say to me? To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has highly profitable probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. It did change his emotional state. And this spiritual maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be a part of the same great mission. Therefore, I should wish to meet your, with your friend. I highly recommend you take the sword before you and set out to search for her. Great, we gotta look for Zelda again. Does this that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? Yeah. It actually it seems that further persuasion message will not be required. In the, in the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. That's not what I thought it would do. Remove. You got the goddess sword.